It's my honor to deliver the fourth Do Tiang Sing lecture. And we are grateful to his family for the donation so that we can have the present moment to be at peace. And especially in this time of COVID-19. I have nothing to declare except that I am a Hakka. Next slide. From the county of Yongting in Fuchen. And uh, my ancestor migrated from the north of Yellow River and they constructed round houses like this in the hilly part of the Fujian and Guangdong province. The coastal area are all inhabited by the local Fujian and Cantonese. And these uh, round houses are like modern day condominium where the extended family stay together for mutual support. And also, especially at night, to protect themselves from bandits and wild animals. Next. And my great grandfather again migrated south to Nanyang from this village 100 years ago. And you can see in the distance is my great grandfather's house. And you notice that at that time, most of the manual work are done by the woman. And the men will go out to look for work and send money home. So my, grand, my great grandfather traveled by boat to Indonesia and finally landed up in the southwest corner of Penang Island. Next slide. And <clears throat> I was fortunate and blessed to have a big family in Penang. And we go back there for regular family reunion in Chengbeng. And we have regular newsletter previously edited by each member of the family. I am in the middle with two elder sister, two, three elder brothers and three younger brothers. And this is a view of the hotel where we used to stay during the reunion period, the Golden Sand Hotel and also the Rasa Sayang here. And in the Golden Sand Hotel, you can see the Kedapik in the background. Next. And then I moved down to Singapore and fortunate to stay in the Greenview Crescent with a nice uh, sunrise in the morning in my neighborhood and uh, usually do my Tai Chi in the morning. And this is a painting of the sunrise. Next. And also we go to the nearby botanical garden for walks regularly and enjoy the beautiful oriole, as you can see here, with the beautiful song. And here you can see the white swan sailing past in the gentle breeze. Next. I think we have a... And uh, also, we enjoy walking mindfully in the evolution garden, but too mindful, always with my handphone on hand to catch the birds and the sunlight on all this amazing plant. Yes, thank uh, I'll interrupt you for a minute, uh, yeah. Professor Fu. Uh, those paintings, um, there's always a sense of tranquility and serenity, isn't it? That's and if right. you said correctly, the evolution uh, garden in botanic garden is really beautiful. Yes. I have a question from from somebody. Um, her name is Eileen Bygrave. Um, she's a woman from uh, Goping, uh, small town north of KL. And she asked a question. Um, did you do all these paintings? 
from your memory or from photographs, or do you carry your your uh, pain and your canvas uh, everywhere you go around in your travels? Previously, I used to have uh, <clears throat> printing done on the spot, but nowadays I use my camera and video especially is useful. You can always stop it at any time and you can combine uh, the various uh, scenes you see into the painting. You don't have to copy exactly what is shown in the picture, but you can make your composition and make it more lively and more peaceful. Yeah. From, from, the, from the mental health perspective, uh, Professor Fu, um, I noticed that even in your past calendars, you always include a picture of Penang. Is there something about the spiritual link that you have in Penang that um, helps in your life? Is there something about the early bonding with your parents that you give you a, a, a sense of confidence in life? Can you elaborate on that? Yeah. Previously, my painting used to be empty of any person. And one day, one of my patients told me that, uh, you know, you should put somebody in to represent <laughs> that he appreciate the surrounding. And so from then on, I always put a figure there. And also in Chinese painting, actually, you see uh, Professor Tan E. Kun, his painting, big landscape, but always a tiny little figure there to represent the man. And to be mindful. Mm. Yeah. So for the mental health aspect of it, I think uh, it's important to emphasize that early childhood development is important, the foundation of a person's psychological development. So you see Professor Fu is, is a very confident person uh, um, and uh, self-assured, you know. And so I think uh, something for us to think about um, for people viewing that is important, the family itself and the, or the children or even the grandchildren, they make sure that the development, the child development, uh, that there's, there's a bonding within the family. You want to press on to the next few paintings? I, I agree that relationship is the most important. Especially family relationship, relationship with your friends and your other people around. Yeah, next. And yeah, so in the next 10 minutes, I'll try to concentrate on emotion, the art of emotional balance. As you can see in this calligraphy, qing ke zi bing, ye ke zi bing. Just a different tone, it means different thing. That emotion can cause illness, but Emotion can also cure illness, so we need to be balanced. Not too much, not too little. Too much, you may cause problem. Next slide. And to be balanced in our Eastern philosophy is the yin and yang symbol, not just strict balance. Because the fulcrum is not always in the middle, as you can see, the fulcrum changes. And, uh, also, this reminds us that nothing is static. You can see in this painting that the uh, yin and yang symbol is revolving. Like the weather men always say that uh, there is a 50% chance of rain or 70% chance of rain. And he's always right. Yeah. If it rains, He's right. If it doesn't rain, he's also right. But we need to remember that the weather forecast is still important because I just learned from one of the <coughs> lecturers in Yi Ching that we must always be prepared. That even there is uh, good sunshine, you must always bring your umbrella. Be prepared. Next. And then more is not better. 
less is more, and more may bring more problem. And in this uh, picture of the Singapore clock tower, it again reminds us that don't delay too long. That means time wait for no man. So you must think before you take action. But don't think for too long. Be balanced. Next. And that, as you see in the earlier slide, that no man is perfect. And therefore, we need to be tolerant. And we need to collaborate with each other, even if different, as long as our common commitment, common value is the same. So, means a gentleman can collaborate with others with different opinions or culture or common good. Small-minded person would fight each other even though they are of the same group. Next. And <clears throat> nature is the best healer. And the clinician role is to assist nature to heal. If we do too much, it may cause more harm. One example is that for patients with cancer, too much chemotherapy sometimes may make the patient worse and they may die from the chemotherapy rather than the disease itself. And so this is uh, some of my neuralistic art which I created out from our OT tower. That you need to be tranquil, be free in uh, the nature and enjoy Shangri-La. Next. And that we must always remember our core purpose. Go forward with courage, spread our wings and fly high. And see from the journalistic art to a Chinese ink painting. Pu Wang Chu Xing, Yong Wan, Man Jin, Zhen Chi Fei Xiang. Next. So, to improve our immune system, we need to have regular exercise. And the best is still relaxation exercise, which you can do anywhere, anywhere, whether in Singapore or in New Zealand here, yeah, at Lake Taipo or in Guangzhou. Every morning, I go for a walk, enjoy the group doing the Tai Chi. Next. Yes, I think I pause for a minute here. Uh, yeah. um, there's a, there's a question for you. Uh, I know it's wonderful that besides painting and meditation, you also do exercise. Um, uh, uh, very holistic. Now, the question someone asks you is, uh, does mindfulness improve creativity? That being doing all the mindfulness meditation, you begin to realize that you become a bit more creative in your paintings. I think it does especially now that I read more about the Yi Jing, about the Tao Te Ching, the teaching of Lao Tzu. And that uh, it gave me ideas of the, uh, what Lao Tzu say and understand it better. And I try to put it in my painting. As you can see, my latest, which is not here, I have sent to some of my friends <laughs> to, to enjoy, you know. That, yeah. You realize <clears throat> also in your paintings a lot of calligraphy, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is which itself is an art. Yeah? Um, so we have uh, ongoing research now at Jurong Point on Chinese uh, brush painting and calligraphy. Um, it is led by Dr. Ji Zhe Jian, and and I'm sure. In a, yeah. in a year's time, the, re, the results will be ready and we can share with everyone around. You know. um, so, yeah. uh, you want to press on? Uh, yeah, probably good. Yeah. So, how do we manage stress? It's important to be contented. Zhe Zhe Chang Luo is a 
face from Lao Tzu. And this painting is a painting of the cicada, but in Chinese it's called Zi Liao also. And that means I know, I know. So you need to forgive and do good and accept and adapt and find time to relax. Next. With uh, flute playing, and this was in uh, Naida in India, in serenading by the fish pond. Next. And that in our attitude to fellow being, things or events, there should be no hatred, complaint, or regrets. Be compassionate, be good, and do good. 对人对事对物无恨无怨无悔存善念说好话做好事 Next And so Enjoy nature Go with the flow And you will find peace And that is happiness And that is soon Ying Tian Si Sui Yi Er Han and uh, I would like to end with uh, this phase. Uh, go with the flow, accept and adapt. Rain or shine, please, please be dying. Thank you. <laughs>